Hi, welcome back. And in this part, I would be uh, introducing to you to another method, which is called as the mapping method. Uh, mapping method. Uh, I mean, um, during my um, research um, for these different uh, methods that are available to us for the note making, I um, even perceived that yes, um, there are experts into these thing, um, into uh, these methods, and they really um, have taken pain. I would say. um to incorporate these kind of a methods in uh, the university or the college students you know so mapping method is one more method which they inculcate into students uh, especially in uk i have observed it more and more and they literally take very serious workshops on um uh, these particular methods uh, especially to incorporate also so what is the mapping method about all about now here as per the definition they have said that it is a method which is more of a visual way to organize your class notes so you know it is not just the plain uh, note taking summarizing um talking about the comments or writing the serious stuff if it be observed in the cornelian uh, way you know here in mapping method, third they talk about the visual importance so more of a kaizen effect uh, with visualization that they are uh, bringing in now this technique is useful when learning about the relationships between the topics now when we are relating between two topics that is the time when visualization really comes into thing now here there are couple of advantages why they really wanted to do it and um, you know they say that uh, you know rather than just uh, being um, uh, linear notes method we will see later on what exactly it is here they say that there has to be some kind of a practical aspect which appeals to the eyes and the moment uh, the, it is perceived the notes are perceived the child is able to grasp more easily and that's why visualizations really help um, a child to learn more so that's why they say that uh, usual for visual learners who struggle with studying from the notes only so these visual um, i should say cues really help the students to learn faster the second advantage is that it helps you to remember very quickly and last but not the least is the connecting the relationships it's, these are like nodes you know the each node is being connected with the another node and then uh, they proceed further now how do you to use it now here we would see the diagram in uh, next slide wherein they have said that the page is organized by the topic the main topics branch out into sub topics and uh, with detailed information about each and every node they are calling it as uh, the topics i would say as a node and then you know when the teacher gives the handouts to them it is written the main topic is in uh, center and then how each one of them is being interconnected why in a class begin the map with the main topic so the first class starts off with this particular handout itself branching of the main topic with the heading for each of the sub topics or the notes right uh, any important notes underneath each of the topic so below each and every topic small small points are being uh, added out so that it helps them to understand more quickly continue the pattern till the lecture or the discussions are over now this is the mapping method you can see the main topic and then it has been bifurcated catered into two headings maybe three or four as per the topic and what all things are falling under the category so this is the visual cue that a child gets it now here the mapping method um, you know there are certain things which i um, literally uh, understood when this was being shared with me and here they have said that it uses the comprehension or improves the concentration skills and uh, while they are taking up the notes because you are differentiating the topics between each other and the person is able the person here in the sense the student is able to relate between each and every item. idea or the topic that is under discussion so this becomes more or less like a graphical representation and a easier way uh, in which there is the active participation of the student mental alertness is there and student is already focused with the along with the teacher and both of them are interacting at the same page you can say and uh, definitely yes uh, later on um, you know under the process of critical thinking we will see that how this mapping also helps us so you see this that that's the reason why these methods have been incorporated into the academic writings 
in some of the universities and colleges so that you know uh, the child is being developed for certain things and critical thinking strategic thinking is one area where it, these things really come into the picture so here uh, already have discussed the advantages and disadvantages is that you may not hear the changes so here you cannot make however you can keep on adding them so deletions is not there at all for us the next one is the complete nervous system of the mapping method this is what i would call it as the nervous system so at the center you can see the bulb which gives you the idea mind map application and trust me in uk i have seen uh, during my survey uh, you know the yes there are uh, i mean good consulting companies which really invite the industry individuals um, or the leaders uh, from the various companies and uh, the institutions which are present and they develop this kind of ideas through the with the help of the mapping method and here you can see one is the uh, management the other is the thinking the third one is a document uh, fourth one is the information then evaluation planning and management you can still see self then meetings then people how well you are able to uh, bifurcate or trifurcate various things and then you're able to proceed further thinking in what ways you can think about it like uh, your strategic your visualizations creative aspect e learning and then how you're proceeding further the documentation part of it so each and every branch is pre present out here and this is what the kaizen visualization is all about the uh, chinese or the japanese method um, which is the method i would say and coming from the industry like ge uh, you know we have been trained on the visual aspects a lot so every uh, team has to focus on these visualization so here this is a very neat package of the visualization method which has been given to us for the note making also so i think this is the short introduction about the mapping method i hope all of you like it till then thanks bye